In the superb unfolding of the cutting-edge universe, human beings have lengthy analyzed whether or not or not we are some distance away from every other. We've gazed at the stars, reviewed the big systems of galaxies, and embarked on a mission to find out the potential for lifestyles past our tiny blue planet. That capacity has at final come to fruition. Lately, NASA's chief scientist found out that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has observed something splendid. Brace yourself. On the rims of our boundless time, a top-notch thriller has been uncovered. Existence has been detected on a global called Proxima b, and it adjustments everything. The studies of the atmospheres of exoplanets that pass in front in their stars obliges us as we uncover the mysteries uncovered via the James Webb Telescope and what the discovery of lifestyles on Proxima b may want to mean for the destiny of area exploration and all humankind. The James Webb Space Telescope is a marvel that guarantees to remodel our knowledge of the universe. The telescope's superior technology, mixed with its particular position in space, gives scientists an unprecedented angle at the cosmos. It allows them to consciousness on remote galactic systems, planets, and stars in a manner that turned into in no way feasible before. This may additionally sound like a variety of empty claims, however, it has genuinely got the tech to make all of that actual. Certainly one of JWST's most extraordinary features is its primary mirror, which measures 6.5 m in diameter. That's more than twice the size of the number one mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been one in all the maximum massive equipment for area exploration in recent many years. With such a massive replicate, JWST can capture the faintest glimmers of light from the farthest reaches of the universe, elements that the sphere of technology hasn't continually had the capability to peer. Researchers have lengthy speculated about what lies beyond the bounds of a conventional telescope, but with this one, they could finally see the specific truth they've been dreaming approximately all this time. It's not simply its huge mirror. The JWST is prepared with an array of cutting-edge devices capable of detecting a wide variety of light frequencies. The near-infrared camera, NIR cam, because it's commonly regarded, is a powerful tool designed to seize images within the close to infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Why is that important? Properly, close to infrared mild can penetrate dirt clouds that block seen light, permitting us to see deeper into the great depths of space. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging skills offer astronomers an unparalleled view to take a look at the formation of stars and galaxies. This unique device's primary goals encompass focusing on the early universe and its first light, analyzing the formation and evolution of galaxies, and identifying and characterizing exoplanets. The unique images captured through NIRCAM reveal hidden nuances and structures that were previously inaccessible to telescopes. It enables us to recognize how large systems form and evolve over time and affords insights into the mysterious procedures that form our cosmic neighborhood and beyond. However, this is just one device. There is also the near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSpec which takes the analysis of stars and galactic systems to an exquisite level. By breaking down the mild emitted by celestial objects into its component colors or wavelengths, this method, called spectroscopy, offers crucial facts approximately the chemical composition, temperature, and movement of those objects, enhancing astronomers' capability to find out the complex workings of stars and structures. It gives researchers exact insights into the whole lot it examines. By analyzing the absorption and emission lines in the spectra, scientists can identify the elements observed in a celeb or gasoline cloud, revealing the building blocks of our universe. This data allows us to apprehend the existence cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the complicated interactions among these celestial bodies. Moreover, NIRSpec plays a crucial position in studying distant high redshift galaxies. These galaxies emit mild that has traveled billions of years to attain us, supplying a glimpse into the origins of the universe. Analyzing their spectra enables astronomers to understand their chemical composition, age, and other traits, offering insights into the general evolution of galaxies during cosmic records. Concerning the mid-infrared area of the electromagnetic spectrum, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, on the JWST has been especially designed to look at objects emitting infrared radiation at longer wavelengths. This capability permits us to explore various phenomena from the formation of stars to the detection of exoplanet atmospheres. 
One in all Miri's number one goals is to have a look at the dusty regions where stars are born. Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense dust clouds, permitting Miri to see through the cosmic fog and witness the beginning of stars and planetary structures. It captures specific pictures and spectra in the mid-infrared variety, offering astronomers with vital insights into the techniques happening within these stellar nurseries. However, that's not all. Miri additionally plays a vast role in the look for and characterization of exoplanets. It does so by using gazing inside the mid-infrared, which enables Miri to hit upon and examine the faint thermal emissions of exoplanet atmospheres. This capability opens up opportunities for studying the composition, temperature, and characteristics of exoplanets, consisting of their capacity habitability. Miri's observations help us determine the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and different key molecules that might indicate the situation's essential for existence. Those are simply the components that could assist existence. How does the James Webb Telescope search for signs of something going on underneath the surface of the number one methods? It employs spectroscopy and transit observations. At the heart of this effort lies spectroscopy, a method that lets in scientists to look at the mild emitted or absorbed by an item to determine its composition. In the context of exoplanets, spectroscopy helps us decode the molecular secrets hidden within their atmospheres. While the JWST sets its sights on an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a spectacular scene in which the exoplanet passes in front of its host star from our point of view. As this happens, the JWST essentially observes the starlight filtering through the exoplanet's surroundings during the transit. Geared up with its advanced instruments, the JWST captures this essential mild. An IR spec excels inside the near-infrared range, while Miri takes charge within the mid-infrared domain. Together they shape a dynamic duo covering a wide spectrum of wavelengths essential for in-depth evaluation. You might be questioning what's the big deal about capturing starlight throughout a transit. Well, this starlight consists of essential data about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. As the light passes through the exoplanet's surroundings, it interacts with diverse molecules present, leaving distinct fingerprints or molecular imprints on the starlight. The JWST then meticulously analyzes the filtered mild using its spectroscopic talents. Scientists can perceive unique molecules present within the exoplanet's atmosphere by analyzing the absorption or emission lines in the mild spectrum. Each molecule has its specific set of spectral features, so they all have their identities. They simply need to be pinned down and cataloged to inform the entire story coherently. To attain correct consequences, the JWST conducts massive modeling and evaluation. It is based on sophisticated simulations and reference spectra of acknowledged molecules to fit the determined spectral capabilities with their corresponding molecular identities. Consider it like Go Referencing, a celestial dictionary to decipher the exoplanet's atmospheric language. Identifying the presence of specific molecules is just the beginning. The search for signs of life requires a more nuanced approach. Scientists look for molecules considered biomarkers, substances that could be associated with life. These biomarkers could include gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor, elements essential for supporting life on this planet. But more insights and data are needed to assess the overall habitability and potential signs of biological activity. To enhance the search for life, the JWST also enhances its spectroscopic capabilities with other observational techniques. In the vast expanse of the universe, humans have long wondered whether we are alone. We have gazed at the stars, examined distant galaxies, and embarked on a quest to find out the potential for life beyond our tiny blue planet. That potential has finally been realized. NASA's chief recently revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has discovered something remarkable. Brace yourself. On the edges of our boundless time, an impossible mystery has been uncovered. Life has been detected on a world called Proxima b, and it changes everything. The study of exoplanet atmospheres passing in front of their stars compels us as we explore the mysteries uncovered by the James Webb Telescope and what the revelation of life on Proxima b could mean for the possible future of space exploration and all humankind. The James Webb Space Telescope is a scientific marvel that promises to change how we interpret the universe. The telescope's sophisticated construction, 
combined with its unique position in space, offers researchers a remarkable perspective on the universe. It allows them to focus on remote cosmic systems, planets, and stars in a way that has never been possible before. This might sound like a lot of empty claims, but it truly has the technology to make all of that real. One of JWST's most remarkable components is its primary mirror, which measures 6.5 meters in diameter. That's more than twice the size of the primary mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been arguably one of the most significant tools for space exploration in recent decades. With such a massive mirror, JWST can capture the faintest glimmers of light from the farthest reaches of the universe, elements that the field of science hasn't always had the capability to observe. Scientists have long speculated about what lies beyond the bounds of a traditional telescope, but with this one, they can finally see the detailed truth they've been dreaming about all this time. It's not just its huge mirror. JWST is equipped with an array of cutting-edge instruments capable of detecting a wide range of light frequencies. The near-infrared camera NIRCAM, known as NIRCAM, is a powerful tool designed to capture images in the near-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Why is that important? Well, near-infrared light can penetrate dust clouds that block visible light, allowing us to see further into the vast depths of space. NERCAM's high-resolution imaging capabilities offer astronomers an unprecedented view to study the development of stars and galaxies. This unique instrument's primary objectives include focusing on the early universe and its first light, studying the formation and evolution of galaxies, and identifying and characterizing exoplanets. The unique images captured by NIRCAM reveal hidden nuances and structures that were previously inaccessible to telescopes. It helps us understand how large structures form and evolve over time and provides insights into the mysterious processes that shape our vast cosmos and beyond. However, this is just one tool. There is also the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIRSpec, which takes the analysis of stars and galactic systems to an extraordinary level. By separating the light emitted by celestial objects into its component colors or wavelengths, a technique called spectroscopy, NIRSpec provides crucial information about the chemical composition, temperature, and motion of these objects enhancing astronomers' ability to discover the complex workings of stars and systems. NIRSpec provides researchers with detailed insights into everything it examines. By analyzing the absorption and emission lines in the spectra, scientists can identify the elements present in a star or gas cloud, revealing the building blocks of our universe. This information helps us understand the life cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the complex interactions between these celestial bodies. Additionally, NIRSpec plays a critical role in studying distant high redshift galaxies. These galaxies emit light that has traveled billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the origins of the universe. Analyzing their spectra helps astronomers understand their chemical composition, age, and other characteristics, offering insights into the overall evolution of galaxies throughout cosmic history. Regarding the mid infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, on the JWST has been specially designed to examine objects emitting infrared radiation at longer wavelengths. This capability allows us to explore various phenomena from the formation of stars to the detection of exoplanet atmospheres. One of MIRI's primary goals is to study the dusty regions where stars are born. Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense dust clouds, allowing MIRI to see through the cosmic fog and witness the birth of stars and planetary systems. It captures detailed images and spectra in the mid-infrared range, providing astronomers with crucial insights into the processes occurring within these stellar nurseries. But that's not all. MIRI also plays a significant role in the search for and characterization of exoplanets. By observing in the mid-infrared, MIRI can detect and analyze the faint thermal emissions of exoplanet atmospheres. This capability opens up opportunities for studying the composition, temperature, and characteristics of exoplanets, including their potential habitability. MIRI's observations help us determine the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key molecules that could indicate the conditions necessary for life. Those are just the components that could assist life. How does the James Webb Telescope search for signs of something happening beneath the surface of the primary methods? 
It employs spectroscopy and transit observations. At the heart of this effort lies spectroscopy, a method that allows scientists to examine the light emitted or absorbed by an object to determine its composition. In the context of exoplanets, spectroscopy helps us decode the molecular secrets hidden within their atmospheres. As the JWST sets its sights on an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a spectacular scene in which the exoplanet passes in front of its host star from our point of view. As this happens, the JWST essentially observes the starlight filtering through the exoplanet's atmosphere during the transit. Equipped with its advanced instruments, the JWST captures this crucial light. NIR spec excels in the near-infrared range, while MIRI takes charge in the mid-infrared domain. Together, they form a dynamic duo covering a wide spectrum of wavelengths essential for in-depth analysis. You might be wondering what's the big deal about capturing starlight during a transit. 